Hello and welcome everybody to 1985. Back to the Future, Marty McFly. Now, TaylorMade, they've been making the metalwood, so clubs that say metalwood on the crown since 1978. But in 1985, they introduced these, well, in particular this one, without the set screw and with Pittsburgh persimmon on the toe here around the skirt. So we have some Pittsburgh persimmons here with different logos. What? It's awesome. So. Quick discussion, are these the same as the metal wood? They say metal wood here on the crown, and I would say they're kind of the derivative of the metal wood, okay? So initially, TaylorMade came out with the metal wood. The Pittsburgh Persimmons came second, and they also have the Tor Preferred. They have some other ones we'll talk about. So lovely TaylorMade Pittsburgh Persimmons because in Pittsburgh, steel is the persimmon. So for identification, you can see very similar. They changed the logo during production of the Pittsburgh persimmon. So we're going to discuss that here real quick. You can see TaylorMade, obviously a different logo. This one has the colored, the later version. I believe this one was 85, 86. This one was 87 and beyond. Is that correct? Or did they start these in 86? Let me know in the comments below if you know exactly when they switched logos. But the earlier ones had this TaylorMade logo and both have the driver, the loft, and USA. Both have Pittsburgh persimmon, kind of the identifying feature here stamped on the toe of the skirt. Not sure if you're going to be able to see that Pittsburgh persimmon on both of these. And both of them, let's see if I can set these up, say Metalwood on the top. So very similar except for that logo. So we're going to try to focus on this early production model right here. So the skirt is clean except for, and it's glossy except for that Pittsburgh persimmon. The face has this nice angular groove pattern to it, while there is still this roundness of the head. The pencil hosel right here, the white black ferrule. We move to a stepped shaft. This one doesn't have any branding on the shaft, but it has a tailor made grip. Now, this is made by Lambkin. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see right here, a lambkin, and it's an aligned grip. So there's a rib, a ribbed grip, I guess is what they were called back then. So it has this little protruding part back here. So we need to get this one. I'm probably going to hit the uh, later version. I'm probably going to hit this one out on the range. Taylor made Pittsburgh persimmon, tiniest head on the planet. Felt like I hit that one a little off. Not sure exactly where that was, but didn't feel great. And that one was fat. Having trouble with the old Pittsburgh persimmon today, I'm just gonna John Daly take a full on swing and just see what happens. Oh, that's how you have to hit him. Wow, amazing. These are never a club that I'm excited to hit. I'm not just dying to get these out on the range or on the course. To me, when I look at these, they do not build confidence at all. I don't know how John Daly did it with his massive swing where it looks like the club goes back around his left ankle and he spins all the way around it. Flexible, strong golfer. So does that mean I'm excited to put these in my 80s bags? Ooh, you see, I'm... I'm tempted to make a classic tailor-made set. However, it's really not high on my list. There are other clubs made in the 80s that I'm much more excited about, whether they be made of graphite or wood. But these, I have to acknowledge that they are historically significant. Metal woods to the rescue, and that's where we are today. Just a different metal. So, very wonderful, tailor-made. Have you guys played? The Pittsburgh Persimmons? Did you play the old Metal Woods before they put the Pittsburgh Persimmon brand on there? Interesting history with these clubs. If you want to support the channel, please visit my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I am The Vintage Golfer.